We always talk about how blood vessels dilate and constrict, but what does that really mean? Well, let me show you. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that this guy is a blood vessel. And we know that blood vessels are permeable, meaning that fluid can leak out of them. So I'm just gonna put some extra holes in this guy here. Poke, 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 get through all that, okay? So that way we can actually start to see. We can see the blood that's already leaking through the holes like so. So this is gonna pretend, we're gonna pretend it's a blood vessel and that this blood vessel is constricted, okay? It's constricted, so it's permeable. There's still some fluid leak, but not much. But watch what happens when I dilate or I stretch out that blood vessel. Look at how much blood is now moving outside the blood vessel. That's what happens when we cause dilation or um, a expansion of those blood vessels. It creates what we call more permeability, which means when I expand blood vessels, we're gonna have a lot more fluid shift to other areas. But when I constrict those vessels, it's going to slow the progression or permeability. So again, dilation, more permeability, constriction, decrease permeability in blood vessels. That's how we control fluid shift in and out of blood vessels when we have times of shock and so on and so forth.